Hey, here's another quick test. I'm using the Canon Rebel EOS, the EOS Rebel. Uh, this, it's known as the 650D or the T4i in the United States. This is a quick camera test, as if I haven't done enough camera tests. This one is a 40 millimeter lens at an f 2.8, which is its maximum opening. Uh, I'm shooting at 30 frames a second. I've got um, the ISO at 800, and I can tinker with that, see what it looks like if I bring it down a little bit. Let's see here. All right, now I'm at 800, and uh, I'm at 400, that is. And by the way, if I change my focus, I hit my little button, and it should be in there. Now, it should be a little darker, but the colors might be richer. We'll see what it looks like later. Anyhow, I'm going to switch back to 800, because I think I like to see that a little brighter. Of course, one more bit of gear. I have a Polaris. As if I haven't talked about enough gear. This is a Polaris light meter. Now this is the way this sucker works. I'm currently set that at 800, which is what I'm at here. And I'm in the incident mode and I can just put that in front of my face, push the trigger. Now when I do that, it's telling me that at uh, 30th of a second, I should be at an F4. Now I'm at an F2.8, which means I'm probably overexposed right now. So if I bring that up to a 2.8, it says I should be at a 50th of a second. So I can actually change that. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna bring that up. Uh, excuse me, wrong button. The, that's the one I wanna change. Whoops. Now, according to the Polaris, I should be better exposed right now. Now, if you haven't used the Polaris or a light meter before, this is what it basically lets you do. You set an ISO, you put it into incident mode, and what it does is it captures the light right in front of the subject, as opposed to coming from the other direction. Like for example, let's say I'm wearing a very bright shirt. The camera might see that there's a lot of white in the shot. So what it's gonna end up doing is it's gonna say, well, there's a lot of white, so it must be bright in the room, but it's not. So here it actually measures the light coming towards me. So it now knows that if I'm at a ISO of 800, and I have an F stop of 2.8 that I should be at a 50th of a second. Now, I could have done the opposite. I could have dialed down to the 2.8 and it would have, well, excuse me, I could have dialed up to the 30th of a second and it would tell me I'd go to an F of 4.0. So I could, you know, six, one, half dozen or the other. I opted to keep the 2.8 because I wanted the shallow depth of field so I could test the focus. Now, that's what my little remote here does. Now, what this lets me do, see, uh, especially I'm on a 40 millimeter, uh, 2.8, NF 2.8, the focus, um, the depth of field is very narrow. So using this, oh, and by the way, uh, you may or may not hear the sound of this particular lens because this time I'm using the STM lens. STMs are Canon's newest lens that have a stepper motor. So it uses very fine increments to move around. Now I have the AF servo off, and that is to say that with AF servo mode off, if I move with a shallow depth of field, I'm going to be out of focus. But hitting my little Apatas remote, I can grab that, that focus anytime I want, and that's what it does. So to summarize, the little gadgets I'm playing with today, this is a Polaris light meter in incident mode. This is uh, on Amazon for about 160 bucks. Well worth it. Uh, you get better exposures. I'm using an Apolos, a Pixel Apolos wireless remote. I use that to trigger the focus whenever I do something like this, and I get out of focus. I just hit this little button, and there it goes. It gets me into focus. Now, the audio, uh, you will not hear the lens refocusing too much uh, while it's using my lavalier microphone, but I can turn that sucker off so that you can hear that when I edit this. So I'm going to go back a bit, go out of focus, now I'm going to hit this, and this time I'm going to be quiet so you can hear it focus when I turn the camera sound back on. Now that was it focusing. Now if I did the same exact thing, uh, of course with the external mic, you won't hear a thing. Ready? Now, of course, there should be a pretty stark difference when we look at this. So that was my little fun uh, video test for today. And let's see how this looks. Lighting, camera, etc., etc. et cetera. And uh, uh, while I'm at it, live long and prosper. 
Oh, by the way, here's another thing. This is the Canon RC6. I use this whenever I want to stop the video.